Hello YouTubers and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will show you how you can make pumpkin soup. I will twist up the recipe by baking the pumpkin to the oven, adding chestnuts, smoked bacon and of course a lot of spices. So let's begin. First we have to prep the pumpkin. Uh, we don't need a lot of pumpkin, just 500 grams is enough for four portions. Take the skin off. and just cut it to big pieces, like this. Inside the pan. Pumpkin soup without onions is not possible to be made, so I need two onions, quarter them, and inside the pan they go. And it's time for Mr. Garlic. Inside the pan a splash of extra virgin Greek olive oil, salt and pepper, cover with aluminum foil and bake to 180 degrees Celsius set to fan for about 45 minutes. My pumpkin is ready. Now just take a pot and add all the pumpkin inside. And now let's add the rest of the ingredients. Chestnuts, roasted or boiled, whatever you want, just tap the link at the end of the video. Uh, ginger powder, cloves and cinnamon one chicken cube stock, one liter of boiled water, and that's it. Simmer for 15 to 20 minutes, and the soup will be ready. While my soup is boiling, I will prepare my smoked bacon. Here I have a nice piece of bacon, and I will cut it into small cubes. My bacon is ready and I need a non-stick pan on high heat. I will add the bacon. And I will give it a nice golden color. When the bacon is ready and when the soup is ready, I will serve this beauty. My bacon is ready and let's wait 10 more minutes uh, for the soup. My God, it will be delicious. And now it's time to smooth up the soup. How? Now, before I start pureeing the soup, I need some hot water next to me, the cream and the honey. I will add one tablespoon of honey. the cream and when I start flexing I will see if the soup needs more water or not. Now, at this point it's time to check the soup. First of all, you have to check the consistency. When you are preparing a soup, you have to make sure that the consistency is right. It has to be a soup, not puree. This consistency is the perfect. If you want the soup to be more runny, you can add more water or stock. Uh, now, I have to taste. Yes, we need salt and pepper, but it is so delicious. Trust me, guys, when you make this soup, you will feel all the spices, you will feel the chestnut, you will feel the pumpkin, and this is the perfect starter for every meal. I will blix a little bit more. And it's time to serve. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. With just 500 grams of pumpkin, we made a full pot of soup. 
Now, some smoked bacon. This is the surprise during eating the soup. Some croutons. If you want to make your homemade crouton, just press the link at the end of this video. I need to make my soup a little bit sexier. Take some cream and decorate the soup. At the time. Freshly ground pepper. If you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel and make comments underneath the video. Share the recipe with your friends and please make this recipe for your friends. Till next time, bye bye. Yasas.